Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. You guys get to hang, come and hang out with me today. We're gonna be working on a quarantine workout that I'm gonna be giving you. The gyms are closed, you can't go anywhere, but that doesn't stop us, right? I'll be giving you guys something that you can do in your living room and get a good sweat on, get a good workout in. Now the workout that we're gonna be doing is gonna be catered to everybody. Somebody who is on different levels, maybe beginner or more advanced, you guys can modify it to your benefit. We're gonna be discussing that at the end of the video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, ladies and gents, now before you always get into a workout, especially this workout, you wanna be nice and warmed up. We're gonna be doing the Wonder Warm Up. This is the warm up I've done in previous videos, but I'm gonna show you guys again. Every warm up drill we do, I'm doing two rounds. I'm doing 10, two rounds. All right, we're gonna be starting off with knee drives and arm swings. Second round, we're going to rockets in one spot. It's something you can do in your living room. Rockets, here we go. Knees up, feet up. One. Moving into hips and skips. Next. We're gonna be doing what we call lunges and twists. So, picking my knee up, I'm gonna step out, give me a good lunge, kinda of warms those legs up, and I do a twist. Knee up, and twist. I need 10 of them, here we go. Now we're gonna warm up and stretch the hips. All right, a little quad stretches. Next, high knees. You're gonna give me 10 knees up as fast as you can. And chop the arm. This helps warm the arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're gonna do what we call butt kickers. Same thing but I'm lifting my leg up like I'm gonna kick myself in the butt. At the same time, remember, chop the arms. It makes it easier and it warms your upper body up. We're going right into it again, butt kickers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next, we gotta warm up the arms. So everybody's arms out, little small circles. What I do is I start with small circles, I get a little bigger, a little bigger, and then between those arms as wide as y'all can get. Now I go the opposite direction. Small spins, a little bigger, and then real big. This gets those shoulders and joints loosened up. Now, front to back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do swim throughs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back slappers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Make sure before you guys start this workout, you do the warm up. Make sure you get a good sweat on before you get started. Let you know your body's nice and warm and you're ready to rock. If you're not sweating, you ain't ready, so make sure you guys do it good. Now the workout that we're gonna be doing is the base level for beginners. We're gonna be doing five rounds, two exercises each round, and each exercise we're gonna do three times. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna be doing is called the burpee. Now there's the regular burpee where you go all the way down and do a push up, and then there's the MMA burpee where it's a, basically a sprawl. So I like to move, I like to move from side to side, just like in a fight, and I drop my hip. Legs out, and I drop my hip to the floor as if I'm sprawling. And I back up and I circle. Just like so. And then the second exercise we're gonna be doing, V-ups, we're gonna do a sets of 20. And V-ups going here. All right, are we ready, Sweet Tea? We ready. Y'all ready? Let's get cranking, baby. Set number one, five reps. Burpees, here we go. All 
All right, so I like to do them back to back. You guys can give yourself 10 to 20 seconds in between to get your rest on. If you feel recovered, get right back into the exercise. I'm recovered, so here we go. Because in anything you do, if it's running, MMA, swimming, you have to have a strong core. So after every exercise we do, we're gonna have some type of core exercise to go along with it. Let's go! All right, moving on to second round. We're gonna be working drop push-ups. Now these are awesome, especially for explosive movements. I gotta be fast in fights, so my punches have gotta be as fast as possible. So this is gonna help build that upper body, explosive movements in the arms. The second exercise, we're gonna be doing bicycles. So 50, 25 each leg. Now like I said, at any time, you guys can back down or ramp up any of the ab works or reps of any exercise that we do. I'm doing base level, let's get after it. Now, I'm starting from my knees. There are guys out there that can do it from their, from their feet super hard. So I recommend starting from your knees. Chest up and arms are ready to go, all right? I extend my arms out, chest bounces, and I explode up. I'm pushing up as hard as I can. We're gonna do three sets of five. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we just finished round number two, baby. Moving on to the third round. Breathing is very important. Make sure that all the exercises, you're giving me some good breathing. I like to make noise. Just like in MMA, I make some kind of noise to remind myself that I'm breathing. It makes the exercise a little bit easier. Right, in round number three, we're gonna begin to do some split squat jumps. We're gonna do five each leg. So 10 all together, right into some Cobra. So we're getting some lower body and lower back work in. Here we go. right into Cobras. Now when you're doing the Cobras, I wanna keep my lower half down and just raise my upper, my upper half of my body. All right, so hands out in front, lower half down, raising just my upper half. Now when I do this, I try and explode up and down slowly. Ladies and gents, I'm breathing hard. Round three is done. I hope you guys are breathing hard. We're not giving up yet. We're not stopping. Let's keep going. Moving on to the fourth round. We're gonna be holding the seating to squatting position and we're gonna throw punches for one minute, all right? Working that lower half. We're gonna finish that with mermaids, the opposite of cobras. Before we were working our upper half, now we're squeezing the lower half. So working the glutes and lower back again. Gotta get those glutes looking good. We're gonna be punching for one minute. Now, there again, if one minute's too long, go for 30 seconds. We're done with our first set of punches, right into mermaids. Here we go. Now, like I said, if you feel yourself huffing a puff, you're getting a little tired, don't be afraid of taking a 30 second break. Take a 30 second break, get a sip of water, and get right back at it. Before we were doing cobras, now we're gonna be doing mermaids. Mermaid is lower half. So you're still working the, the, the lower back, but you're working the, the hamstrings and glutes a little bit more. Now be sure when you do this, you do not rock. I'm not rocking. I'm trying to keep my upper body stationary and just lifting my knees off the floor. We 
got one more set of mermaids. Let's get on it, y'all. Here we go, ladies and gents, fifth and final round. We're gonna get into some single leg glute bridges. Right after that, we're gonna be doing some more ab work, all right, doing some, some uh, oblique side crunches. Like we say here, last round, best round, baby. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay flat. I wanna get my heel fairly close to my butt and have one leg up in the air. I can have my hands on the side. If not, if you wanna live a little harder, bring your hands to your chest. Well, all I'm doing is I'm lifting, but as I come down, I'm not going down all the way. I'm keeping my heel flat. You'll feel it in the glute and a hamstring. As soon as we're done, all I want you to do is roll over to your side. Now, I want the bottom arm on your, on your ribs, the upper arm around your head. Now, if you would like, you can lift your feet to make it a little bit more difficult, or you can have your legs slightly bent. But I'm not working here. I'm not on my back. I'm completely on my side, so make sure you guys really isolate those obliques. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 19, 20. Woo! Ah! Excellent work, ladies and gents. We got a good sweat on this morning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, all my beginner guys, ladies and gents out there, you guys feel free to kind of back off on some of the numbers. Maybe do, maybe do 10 or 15 on the crunches. Work your way up to 25. For my more intermediate guys, make sure you give yourself less time for each set, all right? So that right there will kick it up a notch. Now for my more advanced guys, like for myself, I like to do it for time. So I'll do every round for three minutes. I'll give myself a number, let's say 50 of the exercise and maybe 50 of the crunches. And I'll go back and forth nonstop for that three minutes. Kind of like, it's, it gear, it's more like a fight, all right? We're doing five minute rounds of nonstop punching and kicking each other. So my workout is gonna be geared similar to that. I give myself like a 30 second to a minute rest depending on how good a shape I'm in. If I'm just getting into it, I'll do a minute. The more I get in shape, I'll do 30 seconds. Then I move on to my next round. You have something for beginners, my intermediate, and for my more advanced guys. Excellent work today. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you broke a sweat with me. This is my workout. What's awesome about this workout, you can do this in your own living room. You don't need a gym. I can do it in the gym because my family owns it and nobody else is in here right now. So I can come in here, but excellent except for my camera guy. What's up, sweetie? What's up? Guys, a reminder, I'm leaving this workout in the description below. I'm also leaving timestamps for each exercise so you guys can jump to whatever exercise you want to. So excellent work today, ladies and gents. Did I, did I mention to subscribe to this channel? Did I mention that? Uh, I mentioned to subscribe, sometimes. I'm pretty sure. Subscribe, y'all, what are y'all thinking? Hit that button, man, hit the little bell. Let you know that when my next uploads are up, you don't miss a video. Also, make sure that you guys are staying tuned. We're gonna be got more content coming at you right here at Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Catch y'all later.